I'm delighted that you're here today. It is a great day for the Department of Agriculture and Commerce. We've been working toward this for several months now. You know, uh, when COVID-19 hit, it sort of derailed all of our plans for 2020. But we have been working in the background, working behind the scenes to make sure today happens. And that is today's announcement that we are opening, as promised, a, an international trade office here at the Bolton Building to promote Mississippi agriculture, aquaculture, uh, get international trade deals done right here on the beautiful Mississippi Gulf Coast for the benefit of the people of Mississippi and for our great industries. We're excited to have you here today. We've got some special guests. I want to recognize them. Uh, first of all, we have with us General Joe Spragans, my friend. Thank you for what you do at DMR. We have Mike McCormick, President of Mississippi Farm Bureau Federation. Thank you for coming. And we have Bernadette Wilts Lang, who's the Executive Director of the Southern United States Trade Association, of which I serve currently as President of the Board. We have uh, several guests. We have some uh, members of the legislature. Chairman Randall Patterson, Chairman uh, Greg Haney, Chairman Mike Seymour. Did I miss anybody? I don't think I did. All of y'all, thank y'all for coming here today. And then we have some folks who are actually involved in our uh, industries. We have um, Andy Berry, the president of Mississippi, excuse me, the executive director of the Mississippi Beef Council is in the back. We have uh, uh, also, uh, we have uh, Matthew Jarguatsky with the MSU Coastal Research and Extension Center uh, for Mississippi Alabama Sea Grant Consortium. Thank you for being here and being a member of Genuine Mississippi. And Ryan Bradley, who's the director of the Mississippi Commercial Fisheries united and uh, if i missed you i'm sorry i didn't see you when you came in but we're so glad that you're here today as we promote mississippi agriculture and commerce through our international trade office and we're just delighted you know as we looked around the uh, the coast we could not have found a better location than this bolton building which is essentially located here and we get to collaborate with our partners at dmr and uh, other agencies here as well and i'm looking forward to talking more in just a moment uh, about that partnership now agriculture is mississippi's largest industry we produce as a state some of the best products anywhere in the world. We have the best farmers, we have the best soils, and we have here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast three wonderful ports that we are excited to help promote. And as I've traveled the world, uh, I get to promote Mississippi products, but also to promote our ports to places around the world, and places like India and Taiwan and other locations in Asia and, and even in South America. So this is a worldwide outreach. It is a worldwide initiative, and it's all going to be centered right here at the Bolton Building through our International Trade Office. Uh, um, we, through the Department of Agriculture, are excited to promote Mississippi products through our Genuine Mississippi program. I'm wearing this uh, lapel pin on my uh, jacket right here, Genuine Mississippi, and I get to tell the world I'm proud to be from Mississippi because we have so much to be proud of in our products and in our people. And it's a state branding campaign. We launched it just in uh, July of 2018. We promote everything grown, raised, crafted, and made right here in Mississippi by Mississippi. Mississippians. And right now we have over 220 member companies, including associate members. We actually have three seafood companies and Mississippi Commercial Fisheries United. And we have about 20 genuine Mississippi members from the coastal counties. So this is not only an international trade initiative, but it's also raising awareness of the products and the people and the businesses here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. And so our office will also be available as as we staff it with people to stay in tune with issues on the coast and issues that affect, affect Mississippi agriculture in South Mississippi. Uh, in, in our state, we have 34,700 farms approximately. Last year, we had an all-time record production, $7.35 billion farm gate value produced in Mississippi on 10.4 million acres of farmland and another 19.7 million acres of forest land. And uh, if you break it down into the value added component, agriculture contributes $16.7 billion to the Mississippi economy just last year in 2020 alone. 
21% of our state's total impact is Mississippi agriculture. A third of the people who have a job in this state are employed through Mississippi agriculture and related industries. And our forestry industry is uh, there at the top, right after the poultry industry. Forestry typically ranks as our number two commodity, then cotton, corn, soybeans. And of course, we produce, I tell people, if it's worth raising, we raise it in Mississippi, and we do it better than anybody else. We're proud of that. If it's worth growing, we raise it, we grow it, and we do better than anybody else. We have some top agricultural trading partners, uh, and I want to mention some of them, Vietnam, Turkey, Bangladesh, Indonesia, Canada, and Mexico are some of our top uh, trading partners. Recent additions to that are Taiwan and India. The world's fastest growing country is India. And we actually shipped the first shipments of Mississippi chicken to India just in 2019. We're very proud of that as well. And so these are the types of things that we can do here, working together, working with our other agencies, partnering with our associations, and promoting genuine Mississippi. We will grow our numbers. I want to close by mentioning that uh, we are, in, in South Mississippi, a leader in wood products. And as you know, or may know, a company called Inviva has located a, a wood wood pellet uh, manufacturing facility of uh, the largest of its type in Loosedale, Mississippi, and, and uh, it is going to be producing wood pellets. I actually got off the phone with the executive there this morning. They take 80% pine, 20% hardwood, and manufacture a wood pellet that will be burned to provide fuel for a little company named Mitsubishi in the country of Japan. Those wood pellets will be shipped out of the port of Pascagoula for the first time before this year's concluded. So that's one another example, the wood industry that we get to promote. And I'm excited to work with all of our ports. The, uh, Direct Sean, the director of Port of Gulf Port is here. And we have the other ports that we get to work with to promote Mississippi agriculture and commerce. So with that, I want to thank General Joe Spragans uh, for coming today. He is the director of the Department of Marine Resources. General Spragans is a friend of mine. We've been able to work together on a variety of issues from flooding to the uh, uh, Bonnie Carey's spill and all of the issues that affect us here in the South Mississippi. General Spragans, thank you for allowing us to co-locate with you here at DMR and to work with you as to promote our industries. Would you come say a few words? Thank you, General. Thank you, sir. Welcome him. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Commissioner Gibson, it's always an honor to work with you on anything. And uh, we have worked on a lot of things together. We started talking about them. you coming to this building, what, uh, two years ago, and uh, it's worked out, so that's a great thing to happen. One of the things is to have as many people as we can. It's, uh, it, it's not Jackson down here, but it's, uh, it's a small part of Jackson down here because we have almost every agency here now. Uh, the other thing is talking about imports, you know, imports and exports. What a great thing for us to start exporting our seafood yeah. to other parts of the world. Right. That would be fantastic. And that's what I think we could do here. Uh, we have the off-bottom aquaculture, which is growing very great now. And uh, thank you also for helping with that. He's trying to help them get insurance so we don't have to worry about being able to, if they lose their crop, they can be insured for it, just like any other crop we have. And so thank you for that, too, sir. We, uh, but we can look at that and be able to take this off-bottom oysters, and we just increased that to 200 acres now from, 100, from 50 to 200. And we have capability of increasing it several more hundred acres here. And so it could be a great opportunity for us to be able to move those. Speckled trout are great. They don't grow them in India. And you know, it'd be a fantastic thing to have speckled trout from Mississippi going somewhere else to be able to be uh, bought. And it also, we, you know, we have great redfish and uh, crabs. And, and our shrimp industry is wonderful, and uh, we just opened the season. So it would be fantastic to be able to ship any of that to other parts of the world and be able to tell everybody that this is the seafood capital of the world. This is the greatest place in the world to eat fish and eat any type of aquaculture. So come to Mississippi. We appreciate you, sir. Thank you so much, and we look forward to working with you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, gentlemen. All right. Also with us today, thank you, General Spragans, and appreciate your friendship and your support. And also with us today is uh, uh, President Mike McCormick of the Mississippi Farm Bureau Federation. And it just so happens, it worked out wonderfully that today, you may say something about this, Farm Bureau is hosting right here in Biloxi, Mississippi, 
the Southern Regional Farm Bureau Commodity Conference that's going on at the Beau Rivage right now. So thank you, President McCormick, for all you do. Farm Bureau is the voice of Mississippi agriculture. It is our one of our state's largest and most influential leading organizations. Uh, President McCormick, would you come say a few words? Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you, Commissioner. It's an honor to be here with you today. Farm Bureau is here on the coast uh, with our 14 southern state uh, commodity groups working on policy issues that affect our farmers all across the southeast. Uh, but today, it's an honor to be here with you for you to open this new office on the coast. Uh, I think it's the, uh, with you expanding your office space, uh, this is the first and next step that we can go through uh, to uh, expand our exports around the world. Uh, you and I have been on some trade uh, missions and uh, took some delegations overseas and come back with some important uh, trade deals for our Mississippi farmers. And uh, that's, uh, that. this will uh, only enhance that uh, effort uh, and using the ports here along the Gulf Coast, uh, Coast is, a, is an important part of what we want to do. We want to take all of our products here in Mississippi and get the most that we can possibly get for it, and that means we've got to increase our trade around the world. So thank you so much for uh, uh, the opportunity to be here today, and thank you for your leadership for our farmers, uh, and we appreciate all you do. Thank you, thank Commissioner. You. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, not only do we have uh, the uh, spokesman for DMR and uh, for Farm Bureau, but we're blessed today to have also Miss Bernadette Wiltz Lang. And Bernadette is the executive director. Stand up, Bernadette, they can see you. Uh, Bernadette is the executive director of the Southern United States Trade Association, which is headquartered in New Orleans, Louisiana. And I was recently elected uh, by my peers to serve as president of the board for SUSTA. And SUSTA exists to promote uh, the opportunities to Mississippi businesses, and we want to bring that to businesses on the Gulf Coast, to tap the international trade markets. I'll let Bernadette come and say a few words about the work of SUSTA and what we hope to do. I will tell you this, we will be having in this very conference room, in this auditorium, training availability for our local businesses, aquaculture producers, any, anyone with a business that has a product, a food product to sell, we want them to come and be trained, and Bernadette is just the person to do it so Bernadette, thank you for coming today for this. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you, uh, Commissioner Gibson. It really is an exciting day for the Mississippi Department of Agriculture um, and just expanding what these guys do internationally. Uh, we are committed to work with the partners in the room, to work with our Department of Agriculture, to train, educate, and create opportunities in the global market for any of the agribusinesses and farmers and ranchers here in, in Mississippi. Um, it's, it's exciting to have a new office on the Gulf Coast. We're committed to get down here as often as we can to train anyone that's looking to do uh, business in the global markets. SUSTA has over 30 international events around the world to support agribusinesses overseas. Um, and today is a new day for us with Mississippi to get things moving here. Thank you, Commissioner, Thank you. for having me. Thank you, Bernadette. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you. And we look forward to hosting those in the near future. In fact, I don't want us to leave here today before we schedule our first training for our Mississippi Gulf Coast businesses to promote our glo these global markets. I want to close by saying uh, we, we have a wonderful industry in the agriculture and forestry industry in Mississippi. It's very strong. We are already a worldwide leader, but we want to grow it. We cannot be stagnant. We've got to plant the seeds today if we want a good harvest tomorrow. So we're busy about planting the good seeds for our industries today, not only here in the state of Mississippi as a whole, but specifically on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. And I see tremendous opportunities for us to collaborate through our ports, with our ports, as we go out and, and secure other trade deals like we did with Taiwan, other nations, to bring them back and, and promote Mississippi uh, transportation infrastructure and our ports infrastructure infrastructure and uh, get these deals done for Miss the Mississippi Gulf Coast. We need more access 
for wood and agriculture products to these ports and around the world, and we're going to work very closely with you to accomplish that. We look forward to working with each one of you to expand the opportunities for Mississippi agriculture and timber products and to do it right here from the Bolton Building in uh, Biloxi, Mississippi. Thank you all for coming today. May God bless you. And I do want to thank our legislators who made the effort to be here, Chairman Patterson and uh, Chairman Seymour and uh, Haney. Thank you for being here today. And if, uh, if I missed anyone, uh, welcome to you as well. Thank you all for coming. We're excited about that. And the last thing I'll uh, mention is we are hiring. We are looking to hire uh, staff here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast to promote these efforts and to coordinate these efforts. So we'll be sharing more information publicly about that in the coming days. Thank you. God bless you. And we look forward to great days ahead, brighter days, and even brighter than they are today for Mississippi agriculture, for forestry, and for our great aquaculture here on the Gulf Coast. Thank you for coming. I'll take any questions if you have any. All right. Okay. Thank y'all. I think we're done. Thank you much. Thank y'all.